Hi, my name is Jody Lee, and today I'll be talking about natural language processing. I'll first give a definition of NLP and talk about why it exists as well as what problems it aims to solve. Then I'll move on to explain the different analyses uh, underlying NLP. And finally, I'll discuss some major challenges in the field as well as what's being done to address them. Natural language processing is a field that combines computer science, artificial intelligence, and computational lingu linguistics to allow machines to interact with instances of human language as unstructured forms of data. It can be defined as the processes that give computers the ability to analyze, interpret, and derive meaning from human language as well as the ability to produce and generate human language. NLP has important applications in scientific, economic, social, and even political spheres. In fact, the roots of NLP research and development have been traced back to the government funding of automatic language translation between Russian and English in the 1950s. Also during this time, Alan Turing proposed his test of machine intelligence that focused on the conversational abilities of machines. While we haven't quite achieved Turing's definition of artificial intelligence yet, NLP is being used today to make human-machine interactions feel more natural and make it easier for anyone to access useful information stored in computing systems. Whether or not we know it, most of us benefit from NLP applications every day, from using Siri to schedule a meeting to filtering spam out of your email. NLP systems are everywhere. So how does NLP work? For brevity's sake, I've chosen to focus on the understanding component of NLP. In general, there are five steps to of uh, natural language understanding. I'll talk briefly about what happens at each step, and then we'll take a deeper dive into syntactic analysis, a key component of natural la language understanding. Lexical analysis is basically the process of identifying the structure of an input by breaking it down into meaningful chunks of text. So from paragraphs to sentences to phrases and finally words. Syntactic analysis is the process of identifying the grammatical nature of each word in order to determine the relationships it has with other words in a sentence. Semantic analysis looks up and determines the dictionary meaning of the words. Discourse integration involves identifying the meaning of a sentence based on the meaning of the sentences that come before and after it. And finally, pragma pragmatic analysis determines the context of a particular sentence and how that contributes to its meaning. As you can see, natural language understanding involves a lot more than just recognizing a string of text. But let's focus on, on an example and try to break down a sentence syntactically as a machine would. Looking at the sentence, we'll assume that at this point a machine has broken it down into three phrases using lexical analysis. Natural language processing is so cool. It then parses through each word, assigning it a part of speech tag, which describes the word's syntactic function. This is where the machine figures out if a word is a noun, what tense is in, uh, etc. Once that's completed, the machine determines the syntactic relationships between the words, finding the root, subject, and object of the sentence. So following this process, a machine can then incorporate the remaining steps of natural language understanding, determine the actual meaning of the sentence, and possibly perform something like sentiment analysis to determine that the speaker of, the of this statement views NLP positively. So that was a pretty simple sentence to parse, but there are, of course, many aspects of language that can make NLP less straightforward and very challenging. Ambiguity is one of the biggest challenges for NLP. For example, the same word can have different meanings. The same sentence can have different interpretations. 
and the same possessive pronoun can be used to refer to different things in a sentence. Context is another challenge in natural language understanding. Training, a machi training machines to understand sarcasm and irony is no easy task and is very much an open problem in NLP with a lot of room for improvement. <laughs> So there are generally two approaches that programmers take in solving these problems. The first is a symbolic approach, which is a rule based, which is rule based and uses hard programmed if then logic to derive specific answers from specific input. During the early stages of NLP, this was the dominant approach. However, this approach is very rigid and it often breaks. As our understanding of linguistics improved and machine learning technology advanced, we were able to replace the rigid symbolic approaches with more complex statistical approaches that allow machines to learn and make evidence-based decisions. Statistical approaches use big data and neural networks to train NLP systems. To demonstrate how a statistical approach could work, let's look at another more ambiguous sentence together. So on our first interpretation of th this sentence, we would probably conclude that it doesn't make any sense. Like, what is this? We have two nouns that aren't connected by any verb. Um, we were probably expecting a verb phrase like is in to come after the old man, right? But that's not what we get. So knowing that our initial interpretation led us to a dead end, we have to go back to the beginning with the new hypothesis. This time, we might realize that man was actually meant as a verb and not a noun. Now the sentence makes sense. This is essentially how the heuristic search algorithm known as beam search works. Using beam search, a machine explores multiple partial hypotheses, scores them on plausibility, discards the least promising ones, and continues analyzing the remaining candidates. It's pretty clear with this example that machines can't understand ambiguity with just a limited set of rules. Instead, a more robust approach that incorporates statistics based off of prior observations is necessary. While research is still evolving in the field, natural language processing has become very popular over the past few years and is, is used in many products today. It's a field that's ripe with possibilities for gathering, organizing, and structuring information and knowledge um, in order to perform so many different tasks. I hope that as budding developers, you can all see the exciting potential in using NLP to understand and manipulate human language. Thank you.